everyone, I'm Karunia Rao and in Ideas for Profit today, all eyes on NoSil. The stock has moved around 45% since we published our tactical note and we believe there's more to play out for a stock with spare capacity to meet uptake in global demand and in this quarter which just went by, NoSil results highlighted two medium-term trends as well. One, the company continues to ramp up capacity utilization of the expanded facility and benefit from import substitution play. This volume focused strategy has helped gain market share even though rubber consumption has degrown last calendar year. Secondly, since Jan 2021, supply demand equation has balanced out due to which the company has been able to fetch better realizations. Clean balance sheet and prospects of free cash flows as CAPEX cycle has come to a close are other key investment drivers to watch out for. If we look at the Q4 performance, sales jumped 17% sequentially, chiefly backed by uptick in realizations. As guided by the management, capacity utilization improved to 85% from 80% in Q3 on the capacity of 90,000 tons. Sequentially, margins have also jumped due to operating leverage on full year basis. Volume growth was 14% and revenue growth at 9% in a rather difficult year when rubber consumption declined. On balance sheet front, the company is debt-free. It's taking care of its working capital requirements through internal accruals. In Q4, Nosel commissioned the last phase of its mega CAPEX project worth 450 crores, due to which the total capacity is now at 1.1 lakh tons. Management reiterated that it would be able to reach peak utilization of the new capacity by the end of first half of FY24. That by itself implies at least 10% volume growth per annum for the next three years. While the management has not given a specific guidance for FY22 due to fluid situation on account of the pandemic, medium-term trend looks intact. Better volume growth in the coming years is likely to be a function of the trend towards personal mobility. Vehicle scrappage policy is also going to help the operating performance from tyre manufacturers. As tyre imports are under the restrictive list, domestic tyre industry is expected to be in a better place to increase production in the coming quarters. This should lead to a higher domestic demand for rubber chemicals. Moreover, the demand for non-tire applications for things like medical gloves, for instance, is expected to remain healthy over the near term. On the exports front, inquiries from new customers have increased as many clients want to contain the China supply chain risk. Export volumes to the US have picked up. Earlier, it was 500 to 1,000 tons. Now it is at 2,000 tons per annum in the last one year. And hence, the opportunities due to China plus strategy of tire makers to procure raw materials is a key aspect to watch out for over the medium term. Management is confident of business inquiries getting translated to commercial opportunities for which it already has enough capacity. However, investors should note that a typical product approval process ranges from 6 to 18 months. In the next 3 to 4 years, the company expects proportion of exports to inch up to at least 40%. In fact, management expects gross margins also to gradually improve to 50% in the medium term on the back of better product mix. For the current fiscal, we expect better margins on the back of ramp up in utilization levels and improved realizations. Key risk to watch is demand supply situation of rubber chemicals in China and globally. For the long term, we expect Nozil to maintain its dominant presence in the Indian market due to its technological leadership, client relationship and also government's focus on import substitution. Also, because of supply chain disruptions and a reduced preference for China, Nozil is emerging as a reliable rubber chemical supplier for tyre companies. Since the base scenario is one of global auto demand improving in the medium to long term, Nozil is well positioned to capitalize on this recovery with spare capacity as well as a strong balance sheet. Any faster execution of the China Plus opportunity will be a big trigger for re-rating. Coming to valuations, the stock is trading at around 11.6x of EV EBITDA of FY23 projected earnings. Though valuations are not inexpensive, we are encouraged by better execution on the volumes front at a reasonable operating margin. Investors should note that the company has no incremental plan for CAPEX. It will focus on increasing utilization level in the coming years. The end of this CAPEX cycle should translate to free cash flow generation in the near to medium term.